Today, you just received your salary. And before you know it, the money is gone. New shoes, a fancy dinner, and a movie night. Managing your paycheck wisely can be challenging. Welcome to our YouTube channel, your ultimate guide to mastering the art of frugal living. If you're looking to save money, live more simply, and make the most out of every dollar, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm breaking down the eight crucial steps to take as soon as you get paid so you can maximize your financial health and stability. Step one, establish your financial baseline. Understanding your financial baseline is the first and most critical step to effective money management. Many people feel overwhelmed by personal finance, perceiving it as a complex and tedious task. However, avoiding it is why so many live paycheck to paycheck. A whopping 64% of Americans fall into this trap due to a common psychological mistake called mental accounting. This occurs when you mentally categorize your money instead of physically writing it down and tracking it. For instance, you might view a tax refund as extra spending money and splurge on unnecessary items like a new PS5, a TV, or other gadgets. However, this money is essentially part of your regular income. You just paid too much in taxes, and the IRS is returning it. The solution to this problem is simple. Open a spreadsheet and list all your monthly expenses, rent, internet, food, and so on. This will help you determine how much you need to survive each month with your current lifestyle. By listing your expenses, you'll have a clear picture of where your money is going, which is crucial for creating an effective budget. This practice can reveal unnecessary expenditures and help you identify areas where you can cut back. Step 2. Trim non-essential expenses. Once you've identified your core expenses, the next step is to trim non-essential items from your budget. This might include streaming services, subscription boxes, dining out, or other luxuries that aren't necessary for your day-to-day -day life. By focusing on the essentials, you can free up more of your income for savings and debt repayment. Your core expenses should include housing, this should be under 30% of your income. Consider cheaper housing options if your rent or mortgage exceeds this percentage. Groceries and food. Aim for about 10% of your income. Plan your meals, use coupons, and avoid eating out to keep this cost low. Insurance and utilities. This includes internet, cell phone, and electricity, totaling around 10% of your income. Aim to keep your financial baseline under 50% of your total income. If your baseline is higher, look for expenses you can reduce. For example, do you really need an apartment with an indoor pool, a premium phone plan, or expensive organic groceries? Step 3. Build an emergency fund. Having an emergency fund is crucial for financial security. It provides a safety net for unexpected expenses, such as medical emergencies, car repairs, or sudden job loss. Without an emergency fund, you might have to rely on credit cards or loans, which can lead to debt. Aim to save enough to cover six months of your financial baseline. For instance, if your baseline is $3,000 a month, you need to save $18,000. This fund is for true emergencies only, not for discretionary spending. Emergencies might include things like major car repairs, unexpected medical bills, job loss or sudden reduction in income, essential home repairs. Having this fund will provide peace of mind and financial stability, allowing you to handle life's unexpected events without stress. Step 4. Pay off high interest debt. Debt can quickly strangle your monthly income, High interest debt, such as credit cards and payday loans, should be your priority. These debts accrue interest rapidly, making them expensive to carry over time. Focus on paying off these debts first to free up more of your income for other financial goals. There are two popular methods to pay off high interest debt. The avalanche method. Pay off the debt with the highest interest rate first, then move on to the next highest. 
this method is mathematically the cheapest and most efficient. The snowball method. Pay off the smallest debt first to build momentum and motivation. While less efficient, it can provide a psychological boost by allowing you to see quick wins. To stay organized, consolidate your debts into a spreadsheet. List each debt, the amount owed, and the interest rate. Track your payments and adjust the remaining amounts regularly. Visualizing your progress can be incredibly motivating and help you stay on track. Step 5. Start investing. Investing can seem daunting, but it's essential for building long-term wealth. Compound interest allows your investments to grow exponentially over time, significantly boosting your savings. Start with the basics and build your knowledge gradually. Here's a simple investment strategy. 1. 401k. If your employer offers a matching contribution, this is essentially free money. Contribute enough to get the full match. 2. Roth IRA. After maxing out your 401k match, contribute to a Roth IRA. Contributions are post-tax, but earnings grow tax-free, and withdrawals in retirement are tax-free. 3. Taxable Brokerage Account Once you've maximized tax-advantaged accounts, invest in a regular brokerage account. This allows for additional investments without tax benefits, but provides more flexibility. Invest primarily in low-cost mutual funds or index funds for long-term growth. Avoid trying to time the market. Instead, invest a fixed amount regularly, regardless of market conditions. This strategy, known as dollar cost averaging, minimizes the impact of market volatility. Step six, automate your finances. Automating your finances saves time and reduces decision fatigue. When you automate your savings, bill payments, and investments, you ensure consistency and reduce the risk of missing payments or failing to save. Here's how to set up financial automation. One, direct deposit. Ensure your paycheck is automatically deposited into your checking account. Two, automatic transfers. Set up transfers to move money into different accounts for spending and saving. This includes transferring funds to pay bills, save for emergencies, and invest. Three, spending targets. Set monthly spending targets for non-essentials and monitor your progress. This helps control discretionary spending without constant manual tracking. By automating these processes, you can focus on other aspects of your life, knowing your financial foundation is secure. Step seven, reevaluate opportunity costs. Time is your most valuable resource. Evaluate how you spend your time and consider hiring help for tasks you dislike or that take up too much time. For instance, if you can earn more through a side hustle than it costs to hire someone to clean your house, it might be a better financial decision to outsource the cleaning. Make a list of tasks you dislike or find time-consuming. Note how much time each task takes and the potential earnings if you spent that time on a side hustle. Compare this with the cost of hiring help. This exercise can help you make more efficient use of your time and potentially increase your income. Step eight, accept and adapt. Even with these steps, you might sometimes feel like you're not making financial progress. It's important to recognize subtle signs that indicate you're doing better than you think. Continuously refine your strategies, stay informed, and adjust as needed. Financial success isn't just about following steps, it's also about mindset. Stay positive, keep learning, and adapt your strategies as your circumstances change. Remember, building financial security is a marathon, not a sprint. Celebrate small victories and stay committed to your long-term goals. By following these steps, you can take control of your finances, reduce stress, and build a more secure financial future. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Your support helps us create more content like this. Join our community and let's continue this journey towards a more mindful and frugal lifestyle together.
Thanks again for your support, and we'll see you in the next video.